No, I'm not crazy. People do it all the time. <laughs> I've enlisted a lot of great help. I'm going to be riding in a race on the 1st of August um, against 11 other women. As I'm sitting here today, I haven't ridden a thoroughbred that's in training uh, for track work or a jump out or a trial or anything like that. I've always known Georgia to be a very competent um, event rider and, um, and well schooled in, in dressage as well. So um, having those disciplines under her belt, uh, I knew that she'd have all the basics. So when I came here uh, for my induction day, they sort of gave me a run through of the process. Uh, normally they've got everyone's name on the board with a list of the horses they're gonna be riding. Um, just in the barn next to me, they get tacked up uh, and then we get pointed onto which horse we're getting on. So I think it'll be a lot of that today. Um, I don't expect to have a huge list. I think I'll have probably a couple of the quiet, nice ones because um, I think they take pity on me being a newbie to all of this. I think I did well, I didn't fall off, so that's a big bonus, isn't it? The girls were great. They sort of walked me through things as we, well, I guess, tanted me through things as we were going around the track. Um, just a couple of like basics that they sort of all swear by, hang on to the breastplate in case they blow up and, you know, um, jack up for some reason, you've got something else to hang on to. They were pretty happy with my first attempt. <laughs> Well, I think some of the uh, new experiences that I'll be having at Jace's Place over the next few weeks will be um, obviously learning to ride more at pace sort of thing. Um, so I'll be riding at evens in the next few days uh, and then um, trying to improve upon that also. And besides that, I think just generally work on my technique, make sure that I'm getting a bit lower in my sort of upper body, that I'm not getting too much wind resistance uh, and also that as I said, I'm just balancing more on the horse and not necessarily just using my own, you know, strength to hold myself up. How am I feeling? It's been quite challenging, probably more so than I anticipated. Um, I think when I first embarked on this journey, I thought, oh yeah, a bit of fitness and I'll get on the horses and learn to ride them and you know, it'll all be pretty straightforward. Um, but I think the things I didn't anticipate um, being so difficult was probably the time management, fitting everything into my life on top of all of the things that I ordinarily do. So yeah, that's probably how I'm feeling at the moment. But all in all, I think I am much fitter and I think um, my resolve has grown a lot more over this time and I think I am dealing with the challenges as they come. You're back too far and, and you're using all the wrong muscles. Yeah. And you feel buggered by the uh, you've only done one lap. Yeah. And then the knees. The knees. The knees. <laughs> That's what you're, and you've got to get there. And then one of the things I have to thank you for today was obviously that you let me come along and ride track work this morning. So you certainly did. You did a very good job. And of course, George, you're going on a great experience, a riding experience in the next few weeks, aren't you? I am. I'm going to the Magnolia Cup. How would you instruct me to ride the race? I'd say go very steadily, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know, the, in England, everyone's out at Newmarket on the Downs or Lambourne. You know, the gallops there are much more testing than what we have in Australia. You know, Caulfield or Flemington or, or Randwick or Eagle Farm. So, you know, you don't have that miles under your belt that they have, mm -hmm. Georgia, and that, that's your biggest thing. Certainly but, not. Yes, you, you've got to do lots of miles before you get there. The wonderful thing about racing, racing is one of the few sports that we girls can go and feel completely comfortable and safe. Mm. We can also dress up, have a lovely day out, and you feel not threatened, a lovely way of meeting other people, be it boys or girls, it, it, there's, it's something different. Mm. You can go with your man to the football, you might be vaguely interested in mm. football, you go to the cricket and you go, you know, you, you, but, <laughs> The one thing if you go to the races, you know one or the other or all of you will end up having a bet and having a bit of fun. I feel sick with nerves this morning. Um, 
the idea of this impending fitness test is really quite daunting. I haven't done anything like this since school days. The key areas that we're going to be testing on Georgia today will be um, her aerobic fitness, so her aerobic base, and we'll be looking at that through a, um, a multi-stage fitness test, so the BEEP test. I'm certainly not a professional athlete, but I know I put in a ton of work and there's not really anything else I can do to prepare any more for it now. It's just have a go. This is the thing about all of the Magnolia Cup stuff. I really underestimated how much work it was going to be. You know, when I signed up, it was like, yeah, great. And you just think it's this really sort of linear, easy path. But, um, you know, fitting in all your fitness amongst your job and riding horses and getting on, doing track work and all that sort of stuff, it's been a huge challenge and a mental challenge as well. Um, you know, I've had some things going on in my life as well that have been tough, so I've really had to dig deep and be gritty. And yeah, I think I've done enough, so fingers crossed. Yeah, she's come a long way. Um, we've changed her uh, riding style a little bit from the equestrian um, the, uh, background that she's known best. You know, we've had to adapt uh, to a different style of um, riding and, and that's in the uh, training saddles that we started off in. And, and um, you know, the main thing is, is she, she goes around safely and, um, and I think that's what we've sort of worked on more so than anything. And, um, you know, I, I certainly hope that she can win the race, but um, also I just want to see her come home safe and sound and, and it all runs smoothly for her. Yeah, just all in all, I think I've enjoyed the challenge. You know, it's not something that I ever thought I would do in my life. And so to not only grab hold of it, but to continue along the journey, even as I said, when it got tough and to get to this point now, um, has been a huge highlight for me. So now it's just like, let's go and do the thing. <laughs>